Now let us derive an expression for the equivalent EMF of two cells connected in parallel. Suppose we have two cells, let's say first cell having EMF E1 and internal resistance R1. This, unit, this whole unit form a cell. A cell always have an EMF and an internal resistance which is connected with another cell that is connected in parallel with another cell having EM of E2 and internal resistance R2. This unit forms another cell. Both of these are connected between the points A and B, let's say. Let us pass a current I to the junction A the I current I will split it to I1 and I2 so that I1 will flow through the cell having EM of E1 and it will come back to the junction um, B and from there it will join and flow as I itself. So the terminal potential see both of these cells are connected between A and B then the terminal potential the terminal potential of first cell let's call this as the first cell and this one as the second cell terminal potential of the first cell the terminal potential is the potential between a and b let's call that as v you know the terminal potential is equal to E1 minus I1 R1. That is V equal to E minus I R1. We already have derived this expression. If you have any doubt, you can always go back and check the video. From this equation, you know I1 R1 is equal to E1 minus V. So that I1 is equal to E1 minus V divided by R1. Let's call this as equation number one. Now, if you take the terminal potential of the terminal terminal potential of second cell, if you take the terminal potential of second cell, you have to take V itself because both of these cells are connected between A and B. So the potential remains the same. For parallel connection always the potential remains the same. So V is equal to you can write this as E2 minus I2 R2. So that I2 R2 is equal to E2 minus taking this V to the right minus V implies you have I2 is equal to E2 minus V divided by R2. Let's call this as equation number 2. Now, what will happen? So, how will you find the total current? We have the total current I is equal to at the junction I at the junction A, you can use the Kirchhoff's junction rule that is I is equal to I1 plus I2. See, this current I is split, is splits to I1 and I2. So, some of these currents I1 and I2 will give I. So, that I is equal to I1, you have I1 is equal to E1 minus V by R1 plus I2 is equal to E2 minus V divided by R2. Now, if you simplify this, you will get I is equal to, this can be written as E1 by R1 minus V by R1 plus this is equal to E2 by R2, E2 by R2 minus V by R2 or this is equal to collecting the E1 uh, EMFs on one side. So it will be E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 minus V by R1 plus sorry minus V by R2. V by R2. 
so i is equal to you can cross multiply this so that e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 r2 minus you can take this v outside minus v so it will be 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 now if you again simplify this you will get i is equal to e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 r2 minus v into if you cross multiply this you get r2 plus r1 by r1 r2 clear let's call this as equation number 3 now I'm replacing these two cells what I'm doing is I have to find the equivalent EMF of these two cells so what I'm going to do is I'm replacing this figure between the points A and B I am I replace these two cells with a single resist, single cell with an EMF E equivalent and a resistance R equivalent so what I'm doing here is between the points A and B what I am doing is, I am replacing this so that the effect remains the same. That is, if I connect this cell with EM of E equivalent and R equivalent, it will give the same result as connected by these two cells. And similarly, I is the current flowing to the junction I, and B is the current, sorry, I is the current flowing out of the junction B. Also, the voltage remains the same because the cell is also connected between VAB. And if you apply the terminal potential, we have V is equal to, for this figure, V is equal to E equivalent minus IR, I into R equivalent. So that IR equivalent is equal to E equivalent minus V. So, I is equal to E equivalent minus V divided by R equivalent. Or you can write I is equal to E equivalent by R equivalent minus V by R equivalent. Let's call this as equation number 4. Now, let me erase this figure. Now, if you compare these two, that is, if you compare this equation 3 and 4, both on both left side remains the same. Both this equation, I is on the left side. So that you can write, you can write simply equation 4, 3 equal to equation 4, which implies E equivalent by r equivalent minus v by this can also be written as v into 1 by r equivalent clear is equal to e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 r2 minus minus v into r r2 plus r1 you can also write that as R1 plus R2 divided by R1 R2. Clear. Now, if you compare the left side and the right side of the equation, you can, you can find that this E equivalent by R equivalent will be this one. Also, the coefficient of V in here is 1 by R equivalent. And the coefficient of V in here is this one. So you can write this as E equivalent by R equivalent will be E1 R2 plus E2 R1 divided by R1 R2. Call this as equation number 5. Also 1 by R equivalent 1 by R equivalent will be R1 plus R2 divided by R1 R2. 
that is this is equal to this implies 1 by r equal and equal to r1 plus r2 by r1 r2. Now, so that r equivalent is equal to r1 r2 taking the reciprocals on both sides r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2. So, this is the equivalent resistance of cells connected in parallel. Now, if you substitute that in here, that is from in this equation, in the equation 5, we have E equivalent is equal to E1 R2 plus E2 R1 by R1 R2 into, you can write R equivalent to the right, you can take this R equivalent to the right, so it will be R equivalent. And if you substitute the value of R equivalent from the from here, we'll get E1 R2 plus E2 R1 by R1 R2 into R equivalent is equal to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. You can cancel this and this one so that. E equivalent is equal to equivalent EMF is equal to E2 sorry E1 R2 plus E2 R1 divided by R1 plus R2. So these are the equivalent EMF and equivalent resistance when two cells connected in parallel. What happened when when R1 equal to R2 is equal to R. Also, E1 equal to E2 is equal to E sub E. Therefore, this is a special case of this one. So, that R equivalent will be C this equal to R1 equal to R. R2 is again R by R plus R. So, that R square by 2R implies R equivalent is equal to cancel one of these r r by 2 and e equivalent will be you can write this as e r both e1 and e2 is e and r1 and r2 is r e r plus e r divided by r plus r so that 2 e r divided by 2 r this 2 and 2 will get cancelled, R also will get cancelled, implies E equivalent will be E itself, equivalent EMF doesn't change, which will be EMF of one of the cells, clear.